today's vlogmas video I'm going to be doing a really silly little question and answer video which is Christmassy themed. I don't know, I needed an excuse to sit as a reindeer by my tree. I asked you guys, oh my Christmas, what? <laughs> I've got Christmas on the brain. So I asked you guys on my Facebook page to ask me questions to do with Christmas so I could do this Q&A and I got a few questions I'm going to answer right now. First question is from Anna Hastings and she asks, do slash did your parents ever go to extreme measures to make you believe in Santa or make you go along with the magic of it? My reindeer put reindeer poo, no, my reindeer, <laughs> my dad put reindeer poo and straw in our front pout port. I can't say anything today. And straw in our front porch and pretended that's where Santa parked his reindeer. Okay, number one, your dad is adorable. And yes, my mum and dad were the type to just try their hardest to make the magic in Christmas last as long as they possibly could. And my mum was amazing about it. She would always fill humongous sacks from Christmas, from... I need to stop saying Christmas when I can't think of the right word. From Santa Claus and it would be really exciting every year for me and my sister. One year my sister got so excited that she threw up but that's a whole nother story. They just do so much for us and they always have done and they still kind of do it now. I mean obviously Santa Claus still comes to our house every year and we like to just keep the magic in Christmas even though we're at the age where we're passing all that we're passing all of that now but it's still it's still fun to carry it on if that makes any sense. And we used to put out and we still kind of do we still put out mince milk and like beer for Santa Claus and stuff and it gets it gets sipped and eaten throughout the night and it's just a traditional kind of believing in Santa sort of stuff but it was the way my mum decided to carry on for so long because of why not I was old enough to know what was going on but I wasn't old enough to be boring and decide that it's over I never had the reindeer poo theory happen though that is cool that is quite cool. There was actually soot that used to get put around the fireplace on Christmas Eve. So I'd be like, oh, he must have sooty fingers. And my mum was like, yeah, because he just came down the chimney. So he's got soot everywhere. Silly Santa. The next question is from somebody called Darlen, Darlen Foster. Is that your actual name? Am I pronouncing it right? Because that's amazing. If you are sad at Christmas, what would cheer you up? I know it is a downer, but I would like to know because it might help me. So I decided to pick this question because I can relate to this kind of question because Christmas has been quite a cursing time in my family over the past year. Years, not year, sorry. And that's because last year we had two deaths in our family. There has been a history of a lot of people in our family passing away around Christmas time. So it's the hardest time to deal with something like that because Christmas is meant to be cheerful and happy and you're meant to be at your lightest moods at Christmas time. But when something like that happens, it's very, very difficult. What got us by is other people and just remembering that it is Christmas even though shit is happening around that time you still have each other who are still here and who are still happy and healthy and alive and cheerful. Christmas is like a free card for you to just forget about everything else you do around the year and just think about each other and having a good time and being light spirited and not dwelling on work and stuff that might drag you down throughout the year. So even if you have been feeling down in the months coming up to Christmas just let the end of December help you forget it and just forget it for at least a week or so and enjoy the company you're in instead as much as you possibly can and that's what got us by such a hard time so if we can do that then I'm sure you can too but it soon doesn't get forgotten obviously but it soon lifts off you a little bit when you realize that you can start focusing on what you do have instead of what you don't question is from Louise Revelle and she asks what's your favorite present you've ever bought for someone that you've thought about keeping yourself me and my two sisters are so similar that everything I've probably bought them in the past I would consider keeping myself so I would probably say anything that I have ever bought for them for Christmas ever I buy things usually what I think is cool myself because I wouldn't go and buy someone something which I thought was a bit naff unless they asked for it. So it's always made me think I would keep this myself, but I never have, I don't think, unless I can think of something right now. Stuff I bought my mum and dad though, maybe not as much because I guess they're a little bit more different than we are. I would say a lot of presents, probably for friends as well, I've considered keeping myself. I just like to buy things which I think is cool. So if you don't think the same stuff's cool as me, you're probably gonna get terrible presents from me this year. My next question is from Jasleen 
Yeah, I can't say her name. And she asks, what's the funniest experience you've ever had during the Christmas season? I had to pick this because something came to my mind straight away. This probably isn't the funniest, it's not like an amazing story, but you know you always have those times that stick in your head and stay in your head every time you think about a season or something. Something that always pops to my head, I don't know why, for some reason, is when my my family were all listening to the CD player. We have a CD player in our front room up there and we play, we, we never ever use it apart from Christmas. Christmas time. Don't know why, we just don't. So we put in a Christmas CD and then we put in one of those CDs as well that just plays songs that will be big in the year. And then all of a sudden the song came on. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. And do you remember that Cadbury advert when they had the gorilla and then like basically it plays the beginning of the song and all of a sudden the gorilla's like doodle 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 and then the, the song starts kicking in. And that advert was around on the time that this song started playing in our front room. So we were like, oh my God, let's all pretend to be the gorilla. So we had our imaginary drums at the ready and our imaginary drumsticks and we were all waiting for that part to start but none of us were aware of how far down the song that takes to kick in. So we're all there like <gasps> And then we realise that is not the part where it starts drumming. And then we all do it again. And, and then my mum's in the corner of the room just crying with laughter at the fact everyone's so ready and prepared for this moment that seems to never be coming. It was actually vlogged, I think, and I don't know if it's on my channel or my sister's, but I definitely know it was filmed. I don't think it's up anymore though, but it's very, very old. I had brown hair back then. Nothing, nothing crazy, it's just I just know that it was a it was a funny period for my family. <laughs> Brown asks, do you have any special Christmas traditions that you and your family do every year? They're only little things, they're not like anything majorly big. The ones that spring to mind are our fireplace, we always have an open fire every year and it usually starts around November but it reminds me of Christmas more than anything. When the open fire gets lit it just makes you think of Christmas and that's a big deal to me so that's a good tradition we have every year and we eat Chinese every year. We didn't last year because our family wanted to change. We we basically have eaten Chinese as our Christmas meal for many, many consecutive years. When me and my sister were younger, we weren't massive fans of roast dinners, so my mum was like, why don't we just have Chinese? Because we love Chinese so much as a family. That's basically how that tradition started. We also always have a real Christmas tree, if that counts as a tradition. We don't really do fake trees. I think all my life, I've always had a real Christmas tree. So I want to try and keep that tradition every Christmas as much as I can, and that would be great. Let's Next question is from Samantha Walker and she asks what meat do you eat on Christmas? This kind of follows the last question I just answered. We don't have roast, we have Chinese, meaning it would be a bit weird if we had turkey. So we have duck. <laughs> You don't really need to do what everyone else does at Christmas. You just need to do things that keep everybody happy. If it's what you like to do, go eat fish and chips on your Christmas dinner. The next question is from Paige Stub... I can't say your last name, sorry. If you could be an elf, a reindeer or Miss Claus, who would you be and why? I was going to say a reindeer because... <laughs> no reason, gosh. But thinking about it, like I thought, oh, a reindeer would be cute because whiskers and you can just... But the reindeers kind of get the worst part of the job. They just fly around and then wait on the roof. Fly around and wait on the roof. Fly around. They don't get to do anything. But I was thinking about it. I think Mrs. Claus would be the best one because she gets to date Santa Claus. And... I'm sorry, but have you seen his beard? And he is quite a great fella. She gets to live in a freaking grotto. <sighs> the life of Mrs. Claus. And when Santa's doing all the deliveries, she can just sit at home, put her feet up, and paint her toenails. The last question comes from Charlotte Louise Body, and she asks, favorite Christmas film and why? It'd have to be a cross between The Grinch and Elf. And they are because they both have my kind of humor. They're both funny. <laughs> Jim Carrey is an elf. I thought he was not an elf. <laughs> He's in The Grinch. And Jim Carrey just kicks every other actor's ass in this universe. And uh, I like Elf because it's just hilarious. It's just got so many moments in it that you could just cackle your butt off. And Elf, when you see it on TV, you know it's Christmas. It's the coming up to Christmas part. And then when you see the Grinch, it's usually Christmas Eve. And that is when the sick comes up ready to be spewed because you're so excited. And like I said, my sister did that once, one year. When I went to get my stocking, she was like, oh, I'm so excited. 
just throw up all over my feet because she was so excited about her stocking being filled by Santa Claus. So that is all we have time for today on the Vlogmas of today. I think we're on day 11 now, which is crazy. I'm going to stop it on Boxing Day, I think. And I will put all the Vlogmas videos in a playlist called Vlogmas. So if anyone missed any of them, you can just watch the entire playlist and it will roll for you and play them all. So I'll do that when I've finished with Vlogmas because at the moment it's all that's happening on my channel. So it's obvious where my Vlogmas videos are. They're just the ones I'm uploading. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sounds so weird to say that every day, but I will do. Love you guys so much. I hope you're staying happy, positive, awesome and Christmassy. Because if you're not... That makes me sad. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>